There's some misinformation and out of date tutorials out there for how to connect to your PlayStation 3 over FTP. So in this video, I'm going to show you the right way to get this done. Make note that you will need a PlayStation 3 running either custom firmware or PS3 HEN. Among the reasons you'd want to learn how to do this are first of all, it's more convenient and less steps than copying all of these files that you might want to move over to a USB drive first then having to put the USB drive in your PlayStation 3 and then copy them over to your PlayStation 3. Another tremendous benefit is that you can transfer files larger than 4 gigabytes, like ISO image files for games. FAT32 has a 4 gigabyte file limit, so if you use a USB drive, you won't be able to transfer files larger than 4 gigabytes. With FTP, that's not a problem. This guide assumes that you have a custom firmware installed on your PlayStation 3 or that you're running PS3 HEN and that you have Multiman installed. If you need to learn how to do any of those things, I have them linked for you in the description below. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you're connected to the internet. So go to settings, then scroll all the way to the bottom to get to network settings and press the X button. Go to internet connection and press the X button. A side menu will pop up, select enable and press the X button. From here you'll need to set up the actual settings for your internet connection. Scroll down to internet connection settings and press X. Select OK with the X button to continue. You'll get a menu that gives you either easy or custom, just pick easy. From here I'm using a wired setting. So I've plugged in the ethernet cable into the back so it can check the connection settings. As you can see, everything here is automatic. So just press the X button to continue. Now it will want to test your internet connection, which is a good idea. Everything's tested fine here. Press circle to go back to the menu. Now you'll have an IP address and you'll need to get that information in order to connect by FTP. Scroll up until you get to Settings and Connection Status List and press the X button. From this menu, you'll be able to get your IP address as shown right here. Document this information because you're going to need it in order to connect to FTP. With your PlayStation 3 set up on the internet, now you can go and launch Multiman because you're going to need to do some things in here to get FTP established and up and running. Slide over to the Games tab, go to Multiman Content Manager and launch it with the X button. Scroll over to Settings on the top ribbon menu and then scroll down to FTP Service. Press the X button. You'll see a side menu pop up on the right. The best of these options to select is to go to Enable and then all the way down to No Timeout and press the X button. This is the only thing that you have to do in Multiman to activate FTP, but Multiman has to remain open on your PlayStation 3 for the FTP to remain active. If you close Multiman and go back to the main XMB on your PlayStation 3, you'll lose the FTP connection. You'll need to go back into Multiman. So make sure you leave it open anytime you want to use FTP. That's all you've got to do on the PS3. Let's go to your PC and get it set up. The open source FileZilla FTP client is a fantastic piece of software. It's completely free and I've got it linked for you down in the description below. And Mac users rejoice, you can follow this exact same process. Click here to download the FileZilla client. This link directs you to the correct page for the correct version of FileZilla for your operating system, which in this case is for Windows 10. Click on the download link here. This is the one that you want to download, this one right here, because the other ones have features that you don't need and may even cost you money. Come down with the pointer to this green download box and click it to finally get the download. Yeah, I know, it's like download, 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 but this gets you to the correct version of FileZilla, the correct version of FileZilla for your operating system, and the free version. At this point, unless you have content that you want to download to put on your PS3, you're done with downloading files, you can close out the web browser. You'll need to install FileZilla to get it running on your system. Since this is a Windows system, go to File Explorer and go to the Downloads folder. 
FileZilla is already downloaded here as an EXE file. I recommend running installers as system administrator if you have administrative privileges. Right click, pick run as administrator, and click yes. To start the installer, click on I agree. From here, it's just a series of clicking next. There aren't any custom settings that you need to choose here, so you can just click next to continue several times. But we're gonna slow our roll here in just a minute because I wanna point something out to you about this installer process you need to be aware of. And it starts right here. You're gonna get some offers for some software that you may or may not want on your computer. If you click on accept, it's gonna go ahead straight up and install it during the installer. I didn't want any of this stuff, so I moved over to decline and click that. So if you don't want any of these offered softwares to be installed on your computer, click on decline. Then the install process begins for FileZilla. From here, just click finish and it will launch FileZilla for the first time. Remember your IP address that you wrote down for your PlayStation 3 earlier in this process? You'll need it right now in order to get connected. So go up to this box in the top left corner that says host and type in your IP address. In this instance, it was 192.168.0.43, but yours will almost certainly be different. So don't type in what you see here, type in your IP address. Then click on Quick Connect or press the Enter key on your keyboard, and you may get a message that says that the connection is unsecure. That's fine. Click OK to continue, and you'll get this screen. These are all the drives you can access on your PlayStation 3, and you want dev underscore HDD0. That represents the internal hard drive on your PlayStation 3. All right, so the right side are the drives on the PlayStation 3. On the left side is the stuff that's on your PC. You may have caught wind earlier that I want to move some Sega Master System files from my downloads folder over to the PlayStation 3 for RetroArch, which is exactly what we'll do now. Make sure you're in your downloads folder or wherever the content is that you want to move on the left side. On the right side, click Dev HDD0 and navigate to the folder you want to use. In this case, it's specific to RetroArch, but you may want to move other types of files. For example, PlayStation 3 ISOs, PlayStation 2 ISOs, PlayStation 1 BenQ files, or PSP ISOs, and you can do those same things through the same process. We'll talk about how to run all of those in upcoming videos. Now you can just drag the content you want on the left side over to the right side and FileZilla will do its thing and transfer it over to your PlayStation 3. You can monitor the progress of your transfers up here in this message center. As you can see here, everything's moving along just fine, but if you get any error messages or any disruptions in your transmissions, they will appear here throughout the transfer process. And once you get this message that says directory listing of whichever folder you have been transferring your files to, the transfers are complete. Now you can go about moving even more stuff over to your PlayStation 3. Make sure you subscribe while you're here because I'm gonna be covering how to move PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and PSP disc images over to your PlayStation 3 hard drive to play them right off your console. And check out this video featured on screen and listed in the description and pinned comments below. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you there.